I can't tell you how many days have gone by that I've sat here and thought, God damn it, Jim, if only somebody could take The Real World, a show that's been off the air for 20 fucking years, and combine it with the animated stylings of Dr. Katz fucking a half-dead Disney ripoff cartoon from the 90s, my life would be complete. Lucky for me and for the millennials that this show is targeted at, Hayden Black is heard my prayers and answered them. And yes, that's right. This is the very one and the same, famously quoted. You should read that carefully. His tweets are hot shit. And this show, it has it all. It's got victim complexes, nonstop fucking whining, and don't forget the pandering. Hayden's put it all together in a a fusion of bullshit and birthed it onto the internet in one terrible looking flash animation. And just, how does Hayden find the time? How do you find the time to make a flash animation that looks like it cost ten fucking dollars to make, and then turn around and sell t-shirts based on it for twenty-five dollars? Well, he makes it work. Hayden is a a go-getter. He'll find a way to make money. In fact, you can tell that just by looking at the video they put up, the trailer for Gen Z, on YouTube. Not one minute in. One fucking minute in. And this is what you hear. And it's the first animated show in the history of the world to feature a transgender actress in a lead role. Whoa, you're trans? You didn't know? Being trans shows huge strength of mind. No pun intended, but it takes balls. I'm thinking of replacing my balls with candy and turning the whole thing into a Pez dispenser. Why, the cynic in me would almost say that this entire show was never made to be good, that there was no real effort put into the show itself, that this is instead a marketing technique to cash in on the Tumblr crowd. Oh, and I can hear you asking, how would you do that? Well, the first step is... Make a god-awful looking show, just like Hayden did. Make sure it looks like utter fucking shit, that the frames don't look right, that the characters aren't fully animated, that the black border makes no fucking sense. You really gotta nail those details down. Then your next step is, don't even give a shit about developing characters. Just throw a few in there. You've got, uh, I don't know, the gentle giant, Bubba Gump. You've got the white guy that looks like a psychopath, but really, you can tell he's a massive faggot by the tribal earrings he's got. There's Suey Parker, and don't forget Zoe Quinn. And once you have your ensemble cast together, you've got to have a hook. Remember, they don't matter. They're just, they're satellites. They're floating out there. Nobody gives a shit. This is a horrible cartoon. You're not putting any effort into it. You want to make some motherfucking money. Well, you're going to follow Hayden's advice. You're going to do what Hayden did. You're going to make a god-awful looking show, fill it up with horrible fucking characters that have no personalities, and then you're going to hammer home this. Trans actress. Boom. Fucking money. But see, your journey isn't complete yet. It's one thing to make a horrible-looking cartoon. It's another thing to make sure that the cartoon has no merit to it because the characters are shit. And it's another to put a fucking trans actress in there. But that's not going to guarantee you cash. No, you've got to get a little oppression going on. You've got to get... You gotta get some heat on you. Well, how are you gonna get some heat on you? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is open up a Twitter account. Then you're gonna buy a bunch of followers because nobody's gonna wanna listen to the dumb shit you have to say because your cartoon looks like ass. Once you got all those followers, you're gonna start raising a ruckus, talking about how the trolls are coming to get you down. Just make sure that your lead trans actress doesn't actually let it slip that you've been going on to 4chan and 8chan and antagonizing people intentionally to get them angry so you can cash in on the offensive, I'm oppressed bullshit. Oops. Once that's going, you gotta go to a really shitty journalistic outlet. I mean, I'm talking dog shit here. It's gotta be, it's gotta be fucking horrible. Mary Sue sounds like a good choice. You go to the Mary Sue and you say, oh, I'm so oppressed. And then they're gonna write up a fluff piece and they're gonna tickle your trans balls. And there's the motherfucking money. Making a terrible flash animation with no effort in it. He's making that money. Now, I'd love to ask Hayden his personal opinion on this, but he blocked me just because I called him a cuck. Or it could be the fact that I, I caught him. You know, it's not enough just to buy followers. You gotta, you gotta make that Twitter account come to life. You gotta inject a little humor into it. And that's what Hayden does, because he runs that account and recycles his shitty jokes onto it. A pew pew! Hayden, you're not funny. You insufferable fuck. You are just, you are funny's kryptonite, Hayden. There's nothing funny that you've ever said. I've read through your tweets. It's just, it's the fucking gallows of humor. It's like a death march. Scrolling down your timeline is a fucking death march. I keep looking for a punchline, and all I end up finding are guns from the people that have shot themselves reading your horrible fucking jokes, Hayden. But that's all it takes? Welcome to the new age, Gen Z, where we sell oppression, and we hustle people, and we blindside them with bullshit, and use inclusivity and diversity as a smokescreen to sell them $25 t-shirts, where we try to hype up the fact that we have a trans actress like that means anything. 
Like, that's important. Like, the show is better or worse because of it. No, instead, we're just going to use it as a marketing point. It's a sales pitch. And dumb fucking kids on the internet, they're the purchaser. They're the end user. The same Tumblrette, the same special snowflake that's going to buy a male tears fucking coffee mug is the same idiot that's going to watch this shit. And you can see it when you go through their timeline as they whine about their oppression. Gotta get that marketing machine going. As they whine about it, you'll see people say things like, Oh, it's so toxic. Or I'm going to watch this show because people hate it. What a successful strategy, Hayden. Bravo. You found a gimmick that works. People are idiots today, and they are so easy to take advantage of. You just need to know how to pitch it to them. And you found the perfect pitch. You're selling them oppression. They're all upset. See, that's one of the things about millennials, and SJWs in particular. One of the things that really gets up their ass is they're born in a time where there aren't really great civil rights struggles, and they want to get hit with a fire hose. You know what I mean? They want a few dogs sicked on them. So they'll find anything they can latch onto and act like it's some kind of fucking cause to fight for. So your marketing pitch of trans actress, trans actress, trans actress, that appeals to them. Oh, they buy into that shit hook, line, and sinker. But you and I, Hayden, and this video is directed at you, you and I, we both know what you're doing. You can pull the wool over their eyes, but you're not fooling me. You're hustling them, and you're disgusting for doing it. Because you're so blatant about it, Hayden. You're such a scumbag. You're so fucking blatant about what you're doing. You don't give a shit about the fucking alphabet of sexuality, the LMNOP, QRST, GT, or whatever the fuck they call themselves. You don't care about the trans community. You just want to make some fucking money. So you took a horrible product. You put no fucking effort into it. You thought, what's the best thing I can latch on to right now? Oh, transsexuality. You put a trans actress in there and acted like that made your show good. And then you went out intentionally to piss people off and bait them on their community sites, to whine about oppression, to get free press, to sucker in the idiots on Tumblr and other sites like Tumblr, so you could make some money selling $25 t-shirts. You hack fucking fraud. You are unfunny, Hayden. You are unfunny and you are a horrible human being. The only tweet I want to see quoted from Hayden fucking Black in the future in a CNN article is, I'm going to kill myself. That is the one tweet I would gladly read from you, Hayden.